Welcome to part two of our epic adventure in the Dry Tortugas with Captains R.T. and Chris Trossett. See the big tail? Whoa. Yeah, 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 I see him now. You got you, you're on. Nice right, job. Chris. Nice Woo. job. Nice fish, son. All right. Oh, Look at that. Oh, man. Oh. That's what Key West and the Dry Tortugas is all about. Oh. What you got, John? I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. yeah baby. What a fish, <laughs> Oh, my God. Unbelievable. How cool is that? We're on a fish. Oh, 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 what a toad. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. In our last episode with two generations of the famous Trossett family of Key West, RT and Chris led us to some awesome action with Red Snapper, Yellowtail Snapper, Grouper, and more. The remote location of the Tortugas, some 70 miles west of Key West, limits fishing pressure, and that makes it an exciting place to fish for those willing to make the long run. Throw in the incredible diversity of species found here, and you begin to understand why this is one of the top fishing spots in the world. We made a move after a great morning of non-stop action to see how many more species we could find. So guys, we're anchored up on a wreck, and I know there's lots of wrecks around the Tortugas. A lot of them are shrimp boats, and this is a shrimp boat, right? This is the shrimp boat here, yeah. All right, so what are we gonna find here? It's nice and calm, the water's clear, a lot of current. What kind of fish are we gonna target here? Great thing about these wrecks is they hold everything that swims in the Gulf. Everything. We'll get permit, you know, kingfish, snappers, groupers. All you know, the usual suspects. All the usual suspects. That's you awesome. Amberjack and, you know, sometimes the <coughs> Goliath groupers are always present on these things. Too. You know what, Goliath groupers, uh, you can have all of those, my friend, because those, <laughs> those things pull. They, I mean, they get over 400 pounds, right? Oh, yeah. There's plenty of those that size out here. Unbelievable. They, they look prehistoric, like dinosaurs when they come up. <laughs> Maybe we'll see one. All right, let's put some baits out and see what we come up with. Any of those things you just listed would be fine with me. Permit often school over the deep wrecks in the Tortugas, and a permit likes nothing better than a fresh live crab. Find the fish, make an accurate cast, and get ready. The strike is almost sure to follow. That's Permit, Chris. Man, he came, his whole tail came out. I'm gonna move up forward, try to drift into him quietly. Okay. Oh, look at him. See the big tail? Whoa. Yeah, 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 I see him now. Fly, little crab. I want to see, I want to see. Might have been a little short. Here's some right here, here's one right here. They're on you, John. Oh, man. I know. Come on. Permit will drive you crazy. Look at that. I know. I get your line tighter, he's on you. Stop it, stop it. Don't do it. Let it sink. He's coming to it, he's gonna eat it, he's gonna eat it. I guarantee it. Let it sink, here he goes, he's gonna eat it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, JB! There we go. Come on, Chris. I love that sound. Look at the size of this tail. This wreck is, a, I mean, is as live as I've ever seen it. This is what you come out here for. You know, RT, it's uh, a long way out here to the Tortugas, but man, it's worth the ride. Every day isn't as spectacular as, you know, as it is today, but the fishing's always really, really good down here. It's never terrible. Yeah, the fish are always larger. And part of it's the, the remote nature of where you are. It's harder to get to. That's it. I'm gonna move up a little closer to him, John. All righty. Try to keep him a little closer where he can't drive you into the wreck. He's coming now. How's that, John? That's good, man. There He's he coming. Is. Got right any color? He's right here, yeah. Come back. Come on around, I think. That is a big fish, though. Yeah, yeah. Look at that head on him. Oh, man! Johnny? Dude! Oh. Up high. That's why we came down. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding That's me? That's no joke there. That's, That's not a joke. joke. <laughs> That's a big That's a boy. full grown permit. That's the biggest one I've caught in 10 years. <laughs> I'll say. That's, That's a so gorgeous, big. gorgeous fish. Thanks, guys. You know, that's one of the coolest fish that swims. I, it's one of my favorites. I never, ever get tired of seeing them. That's what Key West and the Dry Tortugas is all about. Thank you very much. Can we let them go? Send them back. You guys ready? Give them a little revival. Hey, that's a pretty big fish. I'd say he's 32 pounds. A 30 plus pound permit is not a real common event. No. I mean, occasionally we get them out here, and these are big ones today on the wreck. They're usually 20, 25s. And uh, that is a monster. It is a monster. Why don't you let him go, Chris? All right, buddy. He's not ready. 
Give him a shot. There you go. Oh yeah. Bye go. bye. Hey. Awesome man. Yeah. Well, you. Awesome. One more. Let's go. One more. <laughs> One more. That's all. Fish, fish on, fish on, fish on. Coming up next. Nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, nice, nice dolphin. dolphin. Nice cow. I wonder if there's another one following. Man, what an unexpected surprise. Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram Trucks is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at ramtrucks.com. Guts. Glory. Ram. By Yellowfin. Your legacy. By Simrad. Go with confidence. And by... Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. The flat calm seas continued throughout our trip with an 87 degree air temperature, 83 degree water, and a steady barometer. We continued to chum over the wrecks we anchored on while putting out baits in different parts of the water column. The strategy is to provide a meal for pelagic species on the surface, as well as for fish cruising in the mid-depths and bottom dwellers too. It's a time-tested method, which allows you to have a shot at just about everything that swims over that wreck. You got you, you're on. Nice right, job. Chris. Nice Woo! job. Nice. Nice. What do you think you got, Chris? He takes a little black grouper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice little black. Hey, John, you want to get my grouper here? Not a problem, man. Let me see if I can get this guy for you. Come on, Bubba. There you here go. we go. How about that, buddy? Nice one. Nice little black grouper. Not so little, really. Yeah, I've seen bigger. Yeah, but I've seen smaller, too. He is legal. He is legal. They are pretty fish, man. I know we say that about all the fish that swim down here, but they really are all pretty. We haven't gotten any real giants in this category, but they're good ones. Get one fillet on this side and one fillet on the other. That makes them perfect that in my book. Yeah, that's two fillets. <laughs> perfect fish. Nice dolphin. Nice John. dolphin. There you go, buddy. That's not a peanut. Oh, look at him jump, RT. Man, he's looking good out there. Yeah. Nice cow. I wonder if there's another one following. Yeah, we ought to be ready to throw something. I will be. Man, what an unexpected surprise. Dolphin in the dry tortuga. Like I told you, anything could happen down here. You're right about that. All right, here we go. What's that down there? What's that right there? That's a cuda. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Look out, guys. We got to get something going here. Let's do it. All right. Look at him. That cuda wanted up Yeah, thing. he did. There you go, John. Well, hey, he's about buddy. 10, 12 pounds. Yeah, man. It's a nice, nice fish. Dolphin. And you know, it's a total bonus species. You weren't expecting that at all. No, I We're told down here bottom did. fishing in the tortugas that we catch a dolphin. Yep. That's a nice size, too. It is. Nice little cow. I was hoping the bull would swim up with her like they sometimes do, but that didn't happen. Nope. Happy to see you there, little girl. Yes, sir. Nice fish. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good Thanks job, for putting Don. me on that one. In the Tortugas, we used Penn's Torque Conflict and Spin Fisher V spinning reels with International Squall and Torque Lever Drag conventional reels, all spooled with Mamoy High Catch Monofilament and Diamond Braided Line. Coming up. All right, here's a good fish. Oh, oh look at the Goliath. Fish. Look at the Goliath. That's when you know it's a big Goliath grouper when it takes it. 15, 20 pound amberjack up. Get your lane snapper, you can see that on your line. Perfect example of the food chain. Exactly, food chain in action. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is being brought to you by Penn, let the battle begin. By King Sailfish Mounts, for that once in a lifetime catch. And by Costa Sunglasses, See what's out there.
Driven to Fish, powered by Ram Trucks. Technological advances like digital photography and the widespread use of smartphones have further refined the process of mounting fish. King Sailfish Mounts uses photos provided by anglers to authenticate their mounts. This means customizing the mount to represent not only the released fish's coloration, but also its individual anatomical characteristics. The process of authentication begins way before the painting. Marine artists first reproduce relevant details in the composite cast, like a tear in the dorsal fin of a sailfish, bite marks, scars, or shredded fin edges. This is why every image is so important, even if it is not colorful. As a result of these advances in technology, more once-in-a-lifetime game fish are now being photographed and released alive than at any other time in history. And the combined layering of translucent colors along with pearls and iridescent paints shatters the appearance of mounts from the past. Catching pelagic species is great, and that dolphin was a happy surprise. But most fishermen come to the Tortugas to target big bottom fish, and live bait makes it happen. Even though the park has two large no fishing zones, there's still a huge amount of fishable reef out there, and the snapper and grouper action can be amazing. Plus, it's no secret that the fish grow bigger here than anywhere else in the Florida Keys. All right, there's a good fish. There you go. That's a real fish. Think? Oh, that's a mutton there. Yeah, it is. Come on, be a mutton. Be a mutton, be a mutton. Oh, yeah. Mutton like? That's a mutton. Yeah, All man. Hi, right, Chris. Way to go, buddy. Oh, a nice mutton. There's snappers like yellowtails and mangroves, but then there's muttons. They're, like, they do the extra pulling. Yeah, they're the big mac daddies of uh, snappers. You know, the way Chris caught that one, free line and a light jig back with a strip is a great way to catch them. Well, he's got them on uh, a relatively stout braid, and still, it's a fight. Oh, it's, yeah. You don't, it's, you don't get them all. These are strong fish. They'll run you right in the bottom. I'll grab him, John. All righty. I got him. I got yeah, him. I got man. him. Right. That's a nice mutton snapper. Oh, dude. Look at that. That is so cool. Go. What a beautiful fish. The yep. prettiest of all the snappers. Love all that bronze color they get on the reef. Yeah. It's really cool looking. And you know, when they get sometimes they get fired up chasing live baits, that'll turn bright red. Oh, yeah. And, oh, uh, man. It's neat. If you catch them in real deep water, too. Yeah, when they're living out on the sand, they, they're pretty much all in this color. Yeah. All that bright red. Gorgeous fish. That's one of the prime fish you catch down here, Key West and the Tortugas. The mutton snapper. Ooh, baby! I don't believe that's a lane snapper. I think that's going to be a mutton Oh, something just ate you. Did it really? I think it ate it on the bottom. Oh, you think the amberjack ate you? Oh, you got amberjack now. Yeah. Oh, look, oh at look at that Goliath, big. look at the Goliath. Big Goliath. That's when you know it's a big Goliath grouper when it chases a 15, 20 pound amberjack up. <laughs> he ate your lane snapper, you can see that on your line. Perfect example of the food chain. Exactly, food chain in action. And nothing dies of old age in the ocean. <laughs> lane snapper that was just caught. And little fish eats bait. Big fish eats little fish. Huge fish tries to eat big fish. Triple threat. Here we go. See if we can get him. Come here, Bubba. Get him, Johnny. Yeah. I got him. Oh, that one a twofer. Yeah, man. Almost a threefer. Almost, Almost a threefer. threefer. You don't know how lucky you are, pal. We saved your life. <laughs> Let's yeah. pop this hook out of here. All right. Look at that circle. Got these things hooked so much. Yeah, they hook too well sometimes. <laughs> You know, pound for pound, this is about as good a fighting fish as you're ever going to find. Yes, sir. I'm not much on eating them. Some people are. But, uh, man, pound for pound, make sure as we good get, as anything. Make sure we get that, that. that. Get a squeeze of his belly. Yep, get that air out. You hear that air go out. Absolutely, man. All right, see you, pal. You were one lucky fish. I'd go that way if I was you. And don't go deep. Don't go deep. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, man. Nice job. All right. The Tortugas Ecological Reserve was created in 2001 to set aside a 151 square mile section of the pristine coral reef tract that surrounds Dry Tortugas National Park. Because of its remote location at the extreme western end of the Florida Keys, Dry Tortugas offered a unique opportunity to test the validity 
the so-called marine protected areas. In these large areas, no fishing would be allowed, so reef fish could spawn unhindered, thereby replenishing surrounding areas. The Tortugas Ecological Reserve now consists of two sections, a north and south area, protecting a wide diversity of both plant and animal life. But MPAs remain controversial as a general fishery management tool, and it may be that the Tortugas Reserve will be viewed as unique due to its remote nature and to its unmatched diversity of life. Learn more at floridakeys.noaa.gov. This Conservation Minute has been brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. Coming up next. Oh. What you got, John? I don't know, man. It's a good one, though. Woo-hoo! What a fish, John. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, oh, baby. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, has been brought to you by Isla Morada, sport fishing capital of the world. By Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. By FloridaFishingLicenseCampaign.com, always say, I do. And by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at RamTrucks.com. Guts. Glory. Ram. Surrounded by water on three sides and enjoying beautiful weather year-round, Florida is the destination for world-class fishing. And if you head south past Miami, you'll wind up on a beautiful coral archipelago known as the Florida Keys. At the southern tip of the Keys is Key West and the southernmost point in the continental United States. The fishing in Key West is as amazing as it is diverse. You'll find everything from flats fishing to mangrove line backcountry fishing heart-pounding deep sea and reef fishing, even some of the hottest bridge fishing you can experience anywhere. After a long day on the water, you're going to be ready to eat. The cuisine in Key West has an exotic and Caribbean influence incorporating fresh-caught local seafood, tropical fruits, and decadent desserts. I'm gonna throw some live baits out here, JB. Good idea. Tossing a handful of live baits out as chum can often get lethargic fish fired up, triggering a feeding frenzy. It can also draw wary bottom fish away from the reef or wreck and entice a powerful strike. Oh. Mm. What you got, John? I don't know, man. It's a good one, though. I think you got you an amberjack there, John. Sounds like it. Sounds like a good AJ. Pretty tight, you think? I think it's pretty tight. Hard to say when somebody's pulling on it. Keep pouring it to him, Johnny. He's to keep that bad boy out of the wreck. Doing my best. You're doing a good job. Oh, he's a long way away. I know, he's got a lot of angle on us. Yeah. Going up to the bow. What do you think he is? Acting like a big jack. Yeah. Running out a little bit. He got that big head shake. I'm glad you're fighting this darn thing. I love fighting big, strong fish in deep water in the summertime. Oh, come on, baby, quit running, that's enough. He is way out there. Looks like I see some color down there, John. Gotta move back to the stern again. Big amberjack, boys. Woo-hoo! What a fish, John! Dude. Oh, my God! Unbelievable. Woo, I'm glad Chris was Chris? grabbing that bad boy. You ready? Hey, what? oh yeah. yeah! Oh baby, man. That's a big one. That's oh, a big dog. dude, hey, boy. Look, at look at that! That man. is a monster. That buddy. thing about kicked my butt. Put him in the boat. Oh, oh Chris, thanks, yeah. man. Oh, let me what get get all this tail for him. How much? How much do you weigh? Chris he's at least sixty-five. Yeah, he's sixty-five. Oh, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's what eats your yellow tails and oh, all that stuff. Oh man. These are the hardest fighting fish in the ocean, dude. I knew it was a big one, whatever uh, it was, and this thing is just a monster. I am sweating. That is oh, so please. cool. John, I'm sorry I tortured you so much no, on, on that fish. As they say, RT, it hurts so good. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's awesome, man. 
Look at the shoulders on that thing. That man. thing it's has thick. shoulders. She is That's thick. That's a real <laughs> giant fish. Yeah. All right, Chris. You can lay him down here. Try to push the line off of me. Sounds like my Uncle Bob after Thanksgiving dinner. All right. You ready? <laughs> so all you, you, so all you. bad boy go. See you, pal. A little revival action. Straight down. Get a good Straight shot. Straight down. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, he's kicking. Thanks, man. Good job, buddy. RT and Chris, this has been an incredible experience. It's always fun coming to Key West to fish with either one of you. When I get both of you on the boat at the same time, that makes it that much more special. And throw in the dry tortugas on top of that. What an awesome trip. And I can't even count the number of species we caught. And of course, we laughed a lot too along the way. I want to thank you for a great trip, man. It's always a pleasure, buddy. Josh, it's been a pleasure. Glad to get you back down here. Me too. We'll do it again soon. And folks, if you're coming to Key West, you got to look up the Trossets. They're the best in the business. Chris, what's your website? ChrisTrosset.com. RT? SpindriftFishing.com. There you go. I'm John Brownlee for Sport Fishing Television. Thanks a lot. The beautiful Key West Marriott Beachside Resort provided our accommodations in Key West, and we also owe special thanks to Hurricane Hole Marina and the Parrot Key Hotel and Resort as well. Key West is a special place to fish, and fishing with world-class guides like Captains R.T. and Chris Trossett makes the experience that much better. To learn more about Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram Trucks, visit our website at sportfishingtelevision.com. And be sure to visit us at facebook.com slash sportfishing. Join us on the next episode of Sport Fishing Television powered by oh, Ram Trucks. Oh, there we go. There he is. Is it a redfish? Yeah, JB, it's a big redfish. Nice. Oh, he's trying to get me in the structure. Don't let him do it. Are you ready? Yep. All right, bring JB, bring it to me. Yeah. Oh.